Well, what's up guys, it's Tech, and uh, welcome to this video. So, what I want to show you guys today was, uh, it's going to be like a part, probably like a part, two part kind of thing, because it's going to take a long time. Uh, I want to show you guys the uh, retro arc, right? So, I've been asked a lot, what am I using when I'm playing these old, you know, classic games, right? Uh, if you guys don't know about it, it's called retro arc. Uh, you can look it up, you can Google it, there's YouTube videos on it too as well, but I will make one as well. So, what I'm going to do is do a two part video, and this first part... I'm gonna show you what retro arc is about, what is how is it used, what, what what like the features that I have, and then on the second video I'll show you guys how to get it, where to get it from, and and then uh, all the uh, I guess the install features. All right, so for now I'm just gonna show you guys what it looks like. So this is retro arc, uh, as I've been talking about it a lot. So um, now again I'm gonna show you guys what the system is like and what it's used. Right, so what are you gonna be using a lot? So this is how it starts. You're gonna have probably nothing here, so you're gonna have all this up to here, and that's it. So you'll have basically the load content, which is the main menu, the settings, the favorites, the history, and the image, music, video, uh, net play, and then you're gonna have the import content, which is probably the most important. But after that, you're not gonna have anything, so you're not gonna have all this what I've imported. So you guys can see, I got PC Engine, Nintendo Game 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 Advance. Uh, you got GameCube, uh, Game Boy Color, Game Boy, GameCube. Uh, these are my games I have, to have so far. Uh, Nintendo 64, uh, Nintendo Entertainment, Super Nintendo, the Wii, uh, Sega 32, Sega Game Gear, Sega Master, Sega Drive, Sony Portable, and then that's it. So I have not put in like PlayStation 2, 3, those are down the road for now. Uh, just you know messing around trying to get this it's been two days It's been almost like a week now actually it's been a week that I've been fully messed with it I had to do so much things you have to mess with There's a lot of settings, so it's not hard. You just gotta play around with it so the best feature the one I'm gonna show you first in the beginning is uh, What this what we're you gonna be using a lot you're gonna be using the main menu the load core is what you're gonna be using a lot this is where all the I guess the support engines are this is what every system will support right so if you have let's say you download a ROM of a uh, Game Boy right you're gonna go to load cores and what you're gonna do if you go to load cores you're gonna see all the type of I'm trying to think of the right word uh, these are the simulation I mean these are the emulators that's what it is they're called emulators you'll find almost every emulator you can imagine so they got Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, um, Game Boy Color, and the thing is, how do, how do you know which is what? You can look it up online, what works for Game Boy, you know, if you're looking for Game Boy games or Game Boy Advance, whatever you're looking for, the emulators are, are there online, so I had to do research on them, but I knew most of the emulators I've been using in the past, so I know most of them, right, so by heart. Uh, especially a lot of you guys probably would know uh, is the most famous one out of all emulators there it is right there the Nintendo GameCube Wii Dolphin you guys know about this most of you guys probably know if you guys don't know that this is what GameCube and Wii uses and it's probably one of the best emulators out there right it's amazing but I'm just giving you one emulator there's so many right to get all this each one uses a different emulator so that's what it does. So, but um, I'll show you guys more in detail how to set that up because that's a long process. I'm just showing you guys what it looks like right now. So, uh, and what are you going to be using? Again, load cores. When you're going to be losing a lot, you're going to be using a load content. You're going to be using the online updater, which is most important because this is where you have to update most of all your stuff. So, uh, as you guys can notice, my these features right here. If you guys notice all these, <clears throat> the thumbnails. These guys right here, they don't come with it. You have to download that. You have to update it. You have to run the updaters for it to pick up the game and then it and then uploads the content for you. So this doesn't come here. Like the settings you see on the right and the left. This is so if I'm if I'm looking at the game on the right and I'm looking at the description what it looks like on the left, I made that happen. You have to enable those features, which just takes time to mess with. So it literally is like creating your own. The system's already there for you. You just have to put it together. That's all it is. So, um, uh, so what what I was saying before was that this is what 
the online updater is what you're gonna be using a lot. So you're gonna be using you're gonna be doing a lot of thumbnail updates, content downloaders, update the core files. You know you're gonna update this. You're gonna update the assist, update the joystick profiles because you know everything's different. Cheats I don't use. Database update was more important. The overlays update. So if I do database, I click on it, see what it does. It updates the database for me. Okay, so it notice. Okay, what games I got in there? And maybe the overlay. Okay, the overlay of the whole game system, right? The the I want to update my you know joy. What do you call it? the 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 remote control the joysticks, right? Profile because every joystick has its own kind of uh, I guess configurations. So it gives you the most update, and then obviously the thumbnails is what I do a lot. The only problem with this is it takes a long time. So each one takes a while because so if I have let's say a group of Sony games, uh, or if I have a group of Sony games, you gotta find that emulator to use. You have to click it and then it updates it. So this is what you're gonna be using a lot. A lot of the features you're gonna be using is gonna be at the main menu, which again is the load core, load content. Not this online update updater uh, information. Not really configuration files. <laughs> haven't really used much of uh, that feature. And the next feature you're gonna be using a lot is definitely from the drivers, from the settings, which is gonna be your drivers, right? Um, it's gonna be your video, which you're gonna wanna wanna set up. But your screen resolution is not gonna come at 1920. You're gonna it's gonna probably be like basic, whatever it is. You have to set that up. Um, and then you can go down. I think there's a lot of features here that I have not really messed with. I think I've left this default video. I left as default. The D input joystick. I left as default. The core. All this. I've left as default. Configuration. I've left default. Uh, saving. I did mess with that feature because I wanted to know it automatically saves my stuff. Uh, recording. None of those. I didn't do. The user interface is gonna be using a lot. So this is what you're gonna be using a lot too, because appearance is what you're gonna be using a lot. So view. So if you got appearance, you're gonna be using a lot of these things, right? This is where how my background looks. So this is where I got the menu theme. So if I change this, if I go back, see how it changed. So my whole text kind of changed. Um, now let me bring it back up so you guys can see it. <clears throat> That's that. So, so like I changed basically now I look at my theme, everything's changed, right? So that's what it does. So the appearance is where you can change all your appearance. What do you want to look, what do you want, what do you want it to look like? Uh, you know, you can mess with that. So those are what you're going to be using a lot too. Uh, so the settings and obviously, like I said, it's under, uh, where was it under, under user interface and appearance. Let me, let me go back and change it because I don't like this one at all. Yeah, automatic. You got interview. Don't like that one. Don't like that one. Don't like that one. Retroactive. Don't like that one. Pixel. Don't like that one. Neoactive. Don't like that. Semantic. Don't like that. Dot art. Don't like that. Custom. Don't like that. It's this one I like. So this is the one I like because it's the thumbnails are much it stands out. I can see like okay, that's user, that's directory. It just stands out a lot. So that's what you're gonna be using a lot um, and so this is what it looks like guys so this is what this video is about I'm not gonna go into more details how to get you know set it up but this is what retro is about this is where all the games are so let's, let's let me show you what one game looks like we're gonna go into what a game we're gonna play so how to how to how to basically pull in that game right um, let's go with God of War PSP or you know what let's go with Tekken 6 I don't know why I like that so if I could click run, now if I click, this is where you're going to be playing a lot with to see what the emulator works best with. Uh, so if I say reset the core, and I, and I, I don't want to rename it, I'm sorry. Uh, no. So you can rename it, I mean, I'm not going to rename it. But uh, so look at the, all these emulators that actually go with it. But I know that it's a Sony PlayStation Portable. So what makes best sense with it is that right there, Sony PlayStation Portable PSP. Uh, none of these probably will they will try to run it, but it's not gonna work So let's go with that and then click on run And then it should bring up the game the screen And there's the game so apparently I was playing it all the time times so that. What is that? Uh, yeah. 
So this is Tekken. So this is like old Tekken. I don't know. I wanted to play Tekken like from uh Let's go to Arcade and see what it looks like. And so obviously you can you can change what uh Miguel yeah. Get ready for the next night. So if you actually click on it, you click there's there's a feature here. You guys can see the command, you get the window, you get the file. This is where a lot of features you can do. So command. So on the command line, you can go to the main menu toggle, and this is where you can change how the resolution is gonna look like on the game. So let's say your resolution looks like shit. You're like, why is it doing that? It's probably because it's not this resolution. I got this at 480s, which is pretty high. So it's gonna probably come at 6400, uh, 6400. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, not 6400. Probably 600 resolution. So you got to put it up. So yeah, you're gonna be messing around with those features a lot. So um, and uh, once you do, you just go back. And Julian read your last rights. And then you play the game. I was, being, I was having fun yeah. playing it. So I might get it for the PS4. Yeah, I was the high resolution, better new game. Kick this guy's AS. So yeah. You win. Alright, I'm stopping. Round two. So. Fight. Alright, so I'm gonna stop it there. Alright guys, so that's uh, RetroArch. So again, on the next video, I will show you guys more in detail how to set it up, where to get it from, uh, to th the settings, the details, the games, where to get the games from. I mean, there's a lot of work to be done to it. So if you're dedicated about it and you want it, you got to put the work into it because it's not like simply, you know, download and play because there's a lot of pieces you got to put together. So that's the only problem. Um, so yeah, it took me about fucking, took me two days straight, no, it took me two days to learn it, to understand it, okay. And then the whole week to figure out, okay, where to get the games from, you know, there's a lot of resources out there, but the only problem is not everything is reliable. So if you download a certain ROM, ROMs can be glitched, ROMs can be hacked, so there could be viruses in there, there could be certain problems with it, so you gotta be careful. Again, when I use this PC, I only use it for gaming. So if anything happens, I just fucking refresh the whole thing. And I always have a backup to it, right? I do not do any kind of sensitive information on my PC in this one. When I say sensitive, I mean like I don't. I do not do any kind of, um, you know, my pay my bills, stuff like that. Because that's sensitive information. I only keep it straight to gaming, as you know. So that's it. Um you know so uh think like that if you're gonna use this pc make sure you're not using it at your daily basis not make sure it's not your pc that you use on like every day you're doing your homework your work your school do not download retro tech on that or retro art okay so keep retro art it's 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 not like a it's an open source right so it's not i mean the games you download they could be corrupted it could be there's could be a lot of problems with it so you gotta you're putting you're putting yourself at risk but you gotta be careful what you download so and i'll show you guys the most i think two three of my favorite websites that i trust a lot that i use so far so great so all right guys so until next time sorry if i keep blabbing on i kept talking but i told you it's gonna be a long ass video so part two uh, maybe tomorrow or maybe Monday. I'll show you guys in detail how to set it up. Alright, so until next time. Alright, man. I'm out.